Welcome back to our interdenominational meeting. It's good to see everyone here again. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I thought we might all talk about how we plan to celebrate. Everyone got your green outfits ready? Listen, as Protestants, we don't wear green. We wear orange on St. Patrick's Day. But if you don't wear green, we get to pinch you. Listen, Cupcake, if you ever get the urge to pinch me, you need to rethink that move quickly. All right, all right, calm down. What's everybody else got going on? Well, I'm very excited because this year St. Patrick's Day falls on a Friday during Lent and ordinarily we wouldn't be able to eat meat. But this year the Pope has given us a special dispensation so that we can have our corned beef. You know what I gave up for Lent? Caring what the Pope says. The tradition says that St. Patrick ran all of the snakes out of Ireland. So this year, we're going to contact one of our sister churches up in the mountains, the ones that handle snakes, and they're going to come down here and give us a reenactment. Okay, well, that sounds awful. Anybody else got anything going on? Guys, check it out. We are going to have a special worship concert in honor of St. Patrick's Day. We're going to bring a 30 foot shamrock into the worship center. We're going to put it up on stage and we're going to talk about how the three leaf clover perfectly represents the doctrine of the Trinity. I'm going to stop you right there, Patrick. Yeah, hold your horses, Patrick. Wait a minute. How, how, how did you guys get into our meeting? Oh, I invited them. Those are my guys. We realize we're talking to a cartoon, right? Just go with it. Okay, so what's wrong with using a shamrock to represent the doctrine of the Trinity? You're about to confess partialism. Partialism? Yes, partialism. A heresy which asserts that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are not distinct persons of the Godhead, but are different parts of God, each composing one-third of the divine. Listen, why don't you just explain that the Trinity is like water, which comes in solid, liquid, and gas forms. That's a really good way of explaining the Trinity, and you can even use green water to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That's modalism, Patrick! Okay, well, how do we explain the doctrine of the Trinity then? Why don't you just avoid bad analogies altogether and just read to your people from the Athanasian Creed? Did we just get schooled by a cartoon? I think we did. Just to be clear, I didn't get schooled. I knew all of that before they said it. It's right here in the Westminster Standards. Hashtag superior theology. I just want to know when the drinking contest begins.